morning, children. How are you doing today? I trust you are all doing good. It's so good to be with you. It's been a long time. How long? April, May, June, July. We missed you for four good months. I hope you know why. Not to celebrate that, but because of the virus in the air. So we don't want so much exposure for you and also for ourselves. Because I know you've not been in church for a long while. You've not been to school for a long while, right? You've been indoors. But by the special grace of God, very soon the virus will vanish by the grace of God and have our lives back again. All right. This is one way we are going to reach out to you. We are going to be having our services online. You'll be getting our videos on Sunday. Hey, Sunday, 2nd August 2020. And we are looking at lesson 49. Before we begin, I would love you to get your five alive. My five alive, I hope you know what I mean. Your Bibles, your seals, your pen or pencils, your notebook or your jotter, and your offering. Now, you're wondering what you're going to do with the offering. When mommy and daddy are coming to church, you give it to them and they put it in church. Praise the Lord. All right, I love us to bow our heads as we take our opening prayer in Jesus' name. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for the grace of sleeping and waking. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of a new day. We give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Our Father in heaven, in any way we have heard, have mercy on us, that our sins may not hinder our prayer. Your presence being felt mightily here with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we'll commit today's service unto your able hands. But I have your way in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, you are our greatest teacher. Come and teach us that we will have wisdom, have knowledge, have understanding of all that will be taught here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to take a short praise and worship session. You ready? Yes. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh God. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Thou art worthy, O Lord. You receive glory, honor, and power. For Thou art created all things and for Thy pleasure. They are and were created. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Glory and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O oh God. Receive our praise, O God. Glory and honor we give unto you. Receive our praise, O God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God, everybody walk, 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 walking in the light, oh, walk, 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 walking in the light, oh, walk, 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 walking in the light, walking in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord, it is a great thing. To serve the Lord, it is a great thing. To serve the Lord, walking in the light of God. Children of God, children of God, wonderful children, 
Oh, we know children, we will shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah to the Lord five times. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. May the Lord accept our praise and worship in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, today we are looking at lesson 49. I know by now you have your seals. You can open to page 106, 106. Flip over to page 106. We are looking at a topic that says eternal glory. Are you there? Yes, I believe you are. Our Bible text is taken from Matthew chapter 28. And we are looking at verses 16 to 20. Get your Bibles. Don't say because I'm at home, I don't need to read it. No, get your Bibles as I'm reading. You are going along with me. Our Bible text is taken from Matthew chapter 28, from verse 16 to 20. And it says, Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, that means when they saw Jesus, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and speak unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. We have two Bible texts. Let's look at the second one when we're looking at Acts chapter 1 from verse 6 to 11. Acts chapter 1 verse 6 to 11. Flip over to Acts chapter 1. We're looking at verses 6 to 11. It says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, that means the disciples, when they came together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost, uttermost part of the earth. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, that means Jesus was taken up, and the cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. I believe those men were angels. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. All right, our memory verse is taken from 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. We're going to read it together like we do in church. I know you're not here physically but you still need to memorize it like you're doing just so that you read it every day and apply it in your daily life. Are we ready? Yes, we are. Our memory verse is taken from 1 John chapter 5, verse 11, and it says, And this is the record that God had given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. We'll take it one more time. Our memory verse is taken from the book of 1 John chapter 5, verse 11, and it says, and this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. And our topic says eternal glory. And this last part of our memory verse is God has given us eternal life. The word eternal, what does it mean? Eternal means never ending. Can you say that? Eternal means never ending. Without end. Existing for ever, okay. Eternal glory and said eternal means never ending, something that has no end, something that continues to exist and exist and exist forever. And it says, God has given us eternal life that means a life that will not come to an end, a life that will be there forever. And where are we going to spend this life? We are going to spend it in heaven, that is a place of eternal glory. Children, I hope you remember what glory is. Do you remember? Glory simply means radiance. Glory simply means brightness. When something shines so bright, okay? Now, just paint this picture in your head like we do in church. You come into a very dark room, you're scared, right? But 
when you put on the light, everywhere shines so bright. That is how the glory of God is. It comes upon you. The presence of God comes upon you. That is the glory of God. Your life will begin to shine, and we will shine with Him in heaven forever. All right, let's go on. This is our Bible text, Matthew 28, verse 16 to 20. I have read that. Now, children, let's go on. I know you can see the pictures on the screen, yes? Why are we treating this lesson today? So that you will know the way to eternal glory. Don't say, oh, I'm too young, I'm four years old, I'm five years old. No, we have to start learning from now how to find a way to eternal glory. Because if you miss it now, you might not get it again. So as little children, you have to learn the way to eternal glory now. So that you will grow up with it. The Bible says, train up a child in the way you should go. So that when he is old, he will not depart from those ways. So that's why we are teaching you the way to spend your time in heaven with God. Now, introduction says, wonderful love of Jesus, saving my soul from sin, lifting me from his shadows, giving me peace within, crowning my life with gladness, flooding with joy in my way. How can I keep from sinking? Heaven has come to stay. Now, let's look at the story we looked about. Jesus, when his disciples went to a mountain, Jesus told the disciples to meet him right up in that mountain. Jesus appeared to them and they worshipped him. Do you know why Jesus told them to meet him up at the mountain? That was after Jesus had died and they had buried him. He had gone to prepare that place of eternal glory for us. He had come back again. He told his disciples, meet me up at that mountain. And they went there and they met up with Jesus. Now, if you look at the slide, can you see? Can you see the picture of Jesus? That is him carrying the cross. Can you see the soldiers? Can you see that little boy and that woman there? Even the woman by the window, they were all crying. Why? Because Jesus did nothing. He did nothing to be punished like this. Look at him carrying a very heavy cross. Meanwhile, he didn't do anything. He came, he died for you and I. He carried the sins, he carried the sins of the world on his head. Why did he do that? He had a purpose. He was going to prepare a place of eternal glory for you and I. He was going to prepare a better place for you and I. So that when he gives us eternal life, when he gives us that gives us that life that will never end, we will have a place to spend it. It's not going to be spent here on earth because there are so many bad things happening here on earth. Like the coronavirus, virus, for example, there's no way we'll enjoy our life forever here on earth. Because of the too many sinnings, too many killings, too many lies, too many bad things happening. That was, that's why Jesus went to prepare that beautiful place for you and I. Beautiful. Now, can you see the picture there? Yes. If you look at the top, I can see one, two, three crosses there. Now, the one at the middle was where Jesus was crucified. Just imagine our Lord and Savior being hung up on the cross. Do you know they nailed his hand? You know, we tell you not to play with sharp objects. Imagine how sharp a nail is. You know what they did? They put Jesus' hand on the wood, they used the nail, used the hammer, and they pierced it so hard that the nail passed through Jesus' hand and went into the, the wood and they laid him up there. They put a crown of thorn on his head, thorns, very sharp. They put it on his head and the head started bleeding and God, blood, blood was just gushing out. They nailed him to that cross and after a while he died there. When he died, guess where he went to? He went to prepare that beautiful place of eternal glory for you and I. So that when he gives us eternal life, we will spend it in a better place with him. Now there's a second picture here. Can you see that? That's when Jesus told the disciples to go meet him up on the mountain. Oh, beautiful. Can you see them? That is Jesus there and his disciples around him. He told them, meet me up at the mountain. Jesus appeared to them and they worshipped him. And this is what Jesus said. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. All power is given unto Jesus in heaven and on earth. Power to transform us into his sons and take us up to that glorious place. And he gave them an instruction. He says, Go therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all things. That is the instruction that Jesus gave to his disciples. Do you know you and I are disciples of Jesus? Yes, we are. It's not for only these men. These men are dead and long gone. 
the disciples are reigning with him. So we are Jesus' disciples here on earth right now. Don't say you are too small. No, you are not. Yes, I know you are five years old. Some of you are four years old. But you can talk to somebody about Jesus. In your classroom, if you have a friend who takes a pencil that is not his, some children even take the teacher's erasers home. You even pick snacks from your other friend's bag. That is so bad. If you know somebody that does that, you talk to the person. Say, don't do this. If you do it, you are not going to go to that place of eternal glory and reign with Christ forever. Jesus has given you instruction and authority to teach others about eternal life so that they can receive him and partake of eternal glory. I know some of you are wondering, hmm, how do I get to this place? How do I get to this place of eternal glory? It is simple. You obey the commandments of God and you give your heart to Jesus. Do not tell lies. Do not steal. Do not fight. Do not curse. Do not envy people. Hmm, do not see what other person has, what another friend has, and you want to take that in and all curse. You see a friend puts on a new shoe today. You go to mommy, mommy, I want that shoe. Meanwhile, you don't have need for it. A friend buys a, a new bag. Mommy, I want a new bag. Meanwhile, I have five school bags. A friend has a new lunch bag. Mommy, I want that lunch bag. That is greed. Let them watch it. It is growing. It is growing in you. That desire is bad. So if you don't do all these things, Finally, you give your heart to Jesus. You surrender your life to him. You pray to him. You fellowship with him. You worship him. You pray in the morning, afternoon, night, every time. You study the scriptures, study what the word of God says concerning you and apply it to your daily life. You live according to God's principles. The Bible says we should not steal, so you don't steal. The Bible says don't tell lies, so you don't tell lies. The Bible says do good, you do good. By doing this, you are living your life according to God's word. And if you do this every day, that is the way you get to eternal glory. That is the way you get to eternal glory. That beautiful place that radiates with God's presence. That is the way you get to that place and you live with God forever. Okay. And you see, I told us from the text we read, while the disciples were with Jesus, Ah, the cloud opened up and Jesus was taken up to heaven. Can you see the disciples looking at him? Yes. And after this, two angels appeared. Yes. Can you see? Two men dressed in white. And I remember I told you they are angels. Can you see the disciples? They are still amazed. They are still looking up because they saw Jesus being taken up to heaven. Two men came. I know they are angels. And they told the disciples, so are you surprised? The same way Jesus is taken up, that is the same way he will come down. So children, the same way Jesus was taken up as you are seeing, it's the same way he was going to come back. The clouds will open up and he will descend again to earth. Who is he coming for? He's coming to take his children. And who are his children? Those that do his word, those that study his word, those that obey his commandments, those that live their right life. Those are the people Jesus is coming for again. Coming back again to take his children that believe in him to eternal home. A home that has no end. A place where we will not cry. A place where there will be no coronavirus. There will be no sickness. There will be no hunger. It's just singing and praising God all through. So if you have received Jesus, you are part of God's eternal glory. Have you received Jesus? Don't worry if you have not. I will pray with you so that you receive him and you will also be part of that eternal glory. Jesus has given us an instruction, an authority to tell others about it. So in your house, in your neighborhood, even though you're not going out now, but you have a next door neighbor, you can talk to, talk to that neighbor about Jesus so that your neighbor also can receive Jesus. So that you will not be the only one in heaven. So that we all will be in heaven and we will reign with Christ. Today we talked about eternal glory. We said eternal means world without end, always existing, existing forever. And glory is simply the manifestation of God's presence on us that will make us shine, that will make our lives bright. Wherever we go to, we will stand out. And what is the way to eternal glory? Obey the commandments of God. Serve God. Follow God. Give your heart to him. Don't say, oh, I do good. I don't fight. I don't steal. Those things are not enough. You have to give your heart to Jesus and to the instruction he has left for us. You should go and preach to people. Go and talk to people. So that every other person will also go to this place of eternal glory. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. So right now you cannot ask questions, but just keep writing your questions. Write them down. Oh, we gather again, which I believe will be very soon. We'll have time to answer all your questions. Praise the Lord. Can we bow down our heads as we pray? In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for a wonderful time in your presence. Praise Holy Spirit, we've come to say thank you for we know that you have taught us and great is our peace. Be that we're exalted in the name of Jesus. Soon as we have spoken about eternal glory, give us the grace, oh God, to follow your ways, to give you our hearts, to give you our all and follow you so that we will reign with you at the end in this place of eternal glory in the name of Jesus. Father, for your children, is there anyone here that has not given you their hearts? Father, we commit them unto you. Sweet Holy Spirit, we ask that you convict them that they will be saved in the name of Jesus. We come our lives with the blood of Jesus. We come this new week with the blood of Jesus. The diseases of the Egyptians shall be far away from us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God, because when we meet ourselves again, no bad news shall be heard in the name of Jesus. Hallowed be your name forever. For it's in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you, everybody. I see you next week. Bye. Don't forget to go through the zeal, study or study the word of God and apply it to your life every day and you reign with God in eternal glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. Love you all.